stuck. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Citizen Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what the heck's going on here? This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986, duh. Oh man, oh man, this can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron? I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh. It smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks. Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never dig such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good.
This is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh, North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Oh. Oh. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of fifth clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID, in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up, spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet, hold still. Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat, contraband. Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse. Heavy. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? 
No, sir. That's right, citizen. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley. A man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Having fun, kid? Nah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Look around yourself, breathe in the fresh air, enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely, do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every citizen seem like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation. Using a tax and property law loophole, the city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. To date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. All citizens bank. I don't like the overuse of the word citizen in this timeline. Stemley's staycations. What the heck is a staycation? Citizen reading room. I guess there's one in every town. Comformist. Hairstylists always have such clever names. Just like coffee shops. Industry of tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. E. Brown Industries, established in 1945, is the technological enterprise that makes Hill Valley what it is today. Whether it is electric cars running off the city power grid or motion-sensing fence deployment, the radical civil innovations under development at E. Brown Industries are changing the way cities operate. Efficient pedestrian travel, vigilant citizen monitoring, and space-age technologies that preserve the clean and modern appearance of the city. 
all these amazing advancements are not only making Hill Valley a wonder of the modern civilization, E. Brown Industries also exports its ideas and technology to cities around the world. One such city is Singapore, soon to be recognized as our international sister city. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. The original clock tower was dedicated in 1885 with the motion first started at 8 p.m. on September 5th that same year. The clock tower was once struck by a bolt of lightning on November 12, 1955 damaging the clock motion beyond conventional repair. During the downtown renovation project of 1976, the damaged clock was dismantled and a new modern clock was installed as the window to the mayoral office. Look up! You just might catch a silhouette pacing behind the glass. That's First Citizen Brown pondering how to make your future better. Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. Hill Valley Courthouse? How may I help you, Citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you. Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running? Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff. That car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do, Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. 
But all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program. And I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? Is this some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. What do you gotta do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah! You used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. D don't torment me. Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. I can get used to this. Please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! What's Jen up to now? Leech and the whoosh bags. I never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. 
better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, Barf? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your- No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Martin! Oh, hey, Mom. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? What if Citizen Brown's 
Watch. Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. Ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son. What's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because rock and roll is my density. Um... Destiny. Destiny? What would you know about destiny? Now quit fooling around and get back to your studies. A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further away. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? What are you getting at? Jeez, I'm not gonna rat my own mom, even if she is a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um, I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. 
Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure, not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. About Mom, how'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. Don't you think Mom would be a little more... relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... Stop! I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. I... You recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that... that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. You, uh... Is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot, you seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals, and of course, to use the facilities. You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with it once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. 
If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Ha-ha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. So, uh, when is this dust mite problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kinda backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. I, uh, lost my timesheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm-hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex Okay, Hotel. okay, I've heard enough. I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms, and a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I set fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. Heavy. What about you, Mom? What about me? What are you doing out here polishing the statue? I know! I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L-Sector duty roster, and here I am. Uh... I kinda wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother! Or Big Husband, in this case. I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. So at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just hold off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. So, what's up with Dad? Ugh, indeed. What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that! Is there any way I could talk to Citizen Brown? Oh, you know how difficult that is, Martin. 
The great man spends so much time coming up with new rules and demerits that he barely has time to talk to us anymore. I guess that's the price we pay for a safe, happy city. So he doesn't see anyone? Not unless someone starts rolling up the demerits. He still takes a personal interest in those situations. Hmm. And of course you can talk to Mrs. Brown. Clara? No, silly. Edna. Edna Strickland? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, Doc. Uh, Citizen Brown is married to Edna Strickland? Did you get a bump on the head or something? They've been happily married for nearly 40 years. In fact. If you ask me, I think Edna wears the pants in the relationship. She's the one always announcing the day-to-day -day bulletins. Probably writes them herself. I need to sit down. Biff seems, uh, unusually mellow. Well, he should be. He just finished the Citizen Plus program. So far, it looks like it's done him a world of good. You don't think he seems a bit off? I mean, he's so un-Biff. Well, isn't that the point? You remember what he used to be like? He was an unholy terror. He wasn't that bad. Now, sure. But you should have seen him in high school. I, uh, I, I can imagine. What do you think of Jennifer, Mom? Well, she certainly looked like quite a handful, dear. I was really hoping some of her, uh, joie de vie would have rubbed off on you. What do you mean by that? Well, Martin, you can be a little uptight sometimes. Geez, don't sugarcoat it, Mom. Well, maybe you needed to hear it. There's nothing wrong with having priorities in life. Just maybe Jennifer should have been a little higher on your list. Yeah, she should. Well, you did buy that guitar. That's a step in the right direction. Women love musicians. Just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll get better. What are you talking about? I'm a great musician. That's the spirit. Jen's dad doesn't seem to like me very much. He's just a little stressed out, dear. Filling the crime-stomping shoes of his legendary father makes poor Danny Jr. a little twitchy. So I see. But he gets the job done. Between him and his father, Hill Valley's been as dry as the Sahara Desert for decades now. Unfortunately. Dry? Doc was right. We did overdo it. Is it just me or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. Wait, so you can't even kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. Biff was talking about all the contraband he used to keep. Do you know anything about that? What are you implying, Martin? I'm not implying anything. I just want to know what kind of contraband might still be around, you know, so I can watch out for it, like a good citizen. Well, I wouldn't know about such things, but people still smuggle alcohol in from the next county. I heard the kids at school have been smuggling Xerox copies of Dungeons and Dragons. I bet you'd be into something like that, huh? I'll get back to you on that. Is it true that Biff was responsible for getting dogs outlawed? I think that was all Edna's idea. She's always had a sore spot for dogs. Now your father and I, we love dogs. You do? I didn't know that. How come we never had a dog? We had meant to get one to teach you children about responsibility, but by the time we had you, dogs had already been banned. Now I don't think we'll ever have the chance to raise a puppy. Uh, Mom, are you a drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying. Always watching. You... You mind your own business, George! Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. 
Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? Ah, uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and draw. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. You got a cold or something? Ugh, oh, it's allergies. I swear, there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah, and the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. You sure there's a dog around here? Listen, smart boy, there's only two things I'm allergic to. Dogs and disco, and I don't hear no chicka bow wow, do you? No. Then it's a dog. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What kind of soup you got? Uh, scrolle... Rivellini? Yeah, that's right. Some things never change. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, no thanks. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. Do you have any real meat back there? Define real. I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. 
There's a DOG running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little SOB. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. Hey! There's that mangy! Go get him, McFly! It would look better blue. Now we're in business. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einie. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy. Now hold still. See? I'm not such a bad guy, right? <gasps> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? Down! Sit! Play dead! Uh, Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen! Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You want to go prove it? The Ring of Rock? <laughs> Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. 
You broke my head, Stark. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Hooliganism! <laughs> 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 Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on! Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Corporate Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is, what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. 
So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No way. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I, I mean, yes. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma Your memory. Take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I... uh... bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. This is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931, it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? That be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Michael? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this 
other world. The one you say you come from. Am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe- My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back. With proof. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. That's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes! What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad, we can't just give up. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is, I gotta give it to Citizen Brown.
I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Feed him and weep. He merits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing. I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. That looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11? You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink all day. Biff! Whoa, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> See? What'd you do with my dad's secret videotape? Secret videotape? You know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin. But that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? 
That's strange. I, I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Did you attack my dad? <laughs> you must have been hypnotized. Who put you up to this? <laughs> Guess that'll have to wait until after I get the tape. <laughs> the decycling bin? <laughs> hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, 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 Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh, hey! Whoa. Uh. Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, man. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans? Huh? Tannen! Focus! Uh... Oof. Look! Girly mags! Boobies! What's going on? Biff Howard Tannen! Obey your programming! Uh, uh. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Biff! Isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Where am I? Tannen? I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, uh, Ow. <laughs> Doggy? Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes. Uh... Booze! Uh... What the fu- ah! <laughs> Mommy? Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. 
maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass, and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Ah! Father, what have I done? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Aini along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly. Yeah. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. 
No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Down, Biff. i stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. I need sick of Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Einy. Doc, sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna, it's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Doc, my husband, is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us.